shadows of opalescence. The small parish of St. Agnes had always been a quiet and peaceful place, nestled amidst the rolling hills of the countryside. However, beneath the serene exterior, an insidious plot was unfolding that would send shockwaves through the entire community. It all began when Dr. Richard Michaels, a renowned geneticist, arrived in St. Agnes with a groundbreaking experiment in mind. His research focused on introgression, the transfer of genetic material from one species to another. Dr. Michaels had chosen St. Agnes as his testing ground due to its isolated location and unsuspecting population. As the days turned into weeks, an eerie dissonance settled over the parish. Residents reported strange occurrences and unexplained illnesses. A pestilential aura seemed to hang in the air, spreading anxiety and paranoia among the townsfolk. Unbeknownst to them, Dr. Michaels had been surreptitiously conducting his experiments on the local flora and fauna, resulting in a chaotic mix of species. The once familiar landscape became an amalgamation of mutated plants and animals, with grotesque and frightening consequences. Widespread panic gripped the town as the truth slowly unraveled. Homeowners discovered liens placed on their properties, with their land being used as a clandestine laboratory. Angry protests erupted, demanding answers from Dr. Michaels, who had become an elusive and enigmatic figure. At first, the town's protests seemed irrelevant, as Dr. Michaels had already accomplished his primary goal. He had created a species of opalescent, glowing flowers that possessed mind-altering properties. These flowers, when inhaled, induced a state of euphoria that masked the growing horrors of the parish. However, as the effects of the flowers wore off, the residents began to verify the sinister reality that surrounded them. The entire experiment was fallacious, a twisted fiasco driven by the doctor's insatiable ambition. The townspeople turned to the local authorities, pleading with them to intervene and put an end to this madness. In an entreaty for assistance, the townsfolk hired a private investigator named Rebecca Lawson. Known for her unyielding determination and sharp intellect, Rebecca arrived in St. Agnes to uncover the truth and bring Dr. Michaels to justice. With each passing day, the situation continued to constrict, threatening to escalate into an irreversible catastrophe. Rebecca delved into the dark secrets of Dr. Michael's past, unearthing a trail of deceit and manipulation. She realized that his experiments were not only about introgression but also about the quest for domination over the natural world. As the pieces of the puzzle fell into place, Rebecca's investigation took a dangerous turn. Dr. Michaels, aware of her presence, set a series of traps to belittle and hinder her progress. But Rebecca was undeterred. She fought tooth and nail, determined to expose the truth and save the town from impending doom. With time running out and the exigent situation growing ever direr, Rebecca finally confronted Dr. Michaels in a climactic showdown. The opulent room in which they faced off was adorned with the opalescent flowers, casting an otherworldly glow on the scene. In a shocking turn of events, Dr. Michaels revealed himself to be more than just a mad scientist. He considered himself the proto-martyr of a new world order, where his experiments would reshape humanity's destiny. The battle between Rebecca and Dr. Michaels reached its pinnacle, each fighting for their own vision of the future. Just as the domination of darkness seemed inevitable, a sudden revelation saved the day. Rebecca, with her vast knowledge of science, discovered that the laboratory had been equipped with a hidden hydrometer that controlled the opalescent flower's growth. By manipulating the hydrometer, she could reverse the effects of the mind-altering flowers and restore normalcy to the parish. With determination in her eyes, Rebecca raced against time to locate and disable the device. As she struggled to locate the hidden hydrometer, Dr. Michaels lunged at her, desperate to maintain his hold on power. Their struggle sent them crashing into the laboratory equipment, causing the room to shake violently. Flasks shattered, and sparks flew, igniting a small fire that threatened to engulf the entire room. 
Rebecca, fueled by her unwavering resolve, managed to free herself from Dr. Michael's grasp and continue her search. Amidst the chaos, she spotted a small, inconspicuous panel concealed behind a bookshelf. With trembling hands, she pried it open, revealing the secret compartment that housed the hydrometer. Without hesitation, she manipulated the device, reversing the opalescent flower's growth and restoring their original genetic makeup. As the vibrant hues faded, the room returned to its former, mundane state. The air cleared, and a sense of relief washed over Rebecca. Rebecca, having fulfilled her duty, bid farewell to the parish of St. Agnes. However, the memory of the fiasco would forever haunt her, serving as a constant reminder of the dangers that lurk behind the facade of tranquility. She returned to her life as a private investigator, forever changed by the events she had witnessed. End of story. Let's understand and revise some of the important words we learned during the story. Introgression, the process of introducing genetic material from one species into the gene pool of another species through hybridization or crossbreeding. Parish, a small administrative district, often associated with a local church or religious community. Dissonance, lack of harmony or agreement between things, often referring to conflicting ideas, sounds, or opinions. Pestilential, referring to something that is infectious, harmful, or causing widespread disease or destruction. Lean, a legal claim or right to hold someone's property as security for a debt or obligation. Relevant, something that is not related or applicable to the matter at hand, lacking significance or importance. Opalescence, the quality of exhibiting a play of colors, often resembling iridescent or pearly hues. Verify, to confirm the truth, accuracy, or validity of something through investigation or evidence. Fallacious, based on a false or misleading idea, deceptive or mistaken in reasoning. Fiasco, a complete failure or disaster, often resulting from a poorly planned or executed event or situation. Entreaty, a sincere and earnest request or plea, often made to someone in authority or power. Constrict, to squeeze, compress, or tighten, often referring to a physical or metaphorical tightening or limiting of something. Rotate, to turn or spin on an axis, often describing the circular or repeated movement of an object. Belittle, to diminish the importance, value, or reputation of someone or something, often through demeaning or derogatory comments or actions. Exigent, urgent, pressing, or requiring immediate attention or action due to its critical nature. Opulent, characterized by great wealth, luxury, or abundance. Proto-martyr, a person who is the first to suffer persecution or death for a cause or belief, often regarded as a pioneer or symbol of martyrdom. Domination, the exercise of power, control, or authority over others, often involving the suppression or subjugation of one party by another. Hydrometer, an instrument used to measure the specific gravity or density of a liquid, often used in scientific or industrial settings. Scope, the extent, range, or limits of something, often referring to the area or breadth of knowledge or action that something encompasses. 